Gujarat Grassroots Innovation Augmentation Network that is Gyan is a developmental organization registered as a trust and society in India since 1997 it also has a section 8 incubator company called Gyan Astra that is Gyan Association for supporting technology research and entrepreneurship the major activities of Gyan are scouting documentation and dissemination of grassroots innovations and also innovations for grassroots providing handholding support to innovators and connecting them with entrepreneurs and investors to form gyan's golden triangle of creativity more than 3 decades ago when honeybee network started to tap and map grassroots innovations from all over the country and different parts of the world it was recognized that it is not enough to document the innovations we need to convert innovations into enterprises whether social or economic but there was no framework for that gyan gujarat grassroots innovation augmentation network therefore was set up in 97 essentially as the world's first incubator for converting innovation into enterprise and reduce the transaction cost of innovators of entrepreneurs and investors all the three of them don't know each other innovator doesn't know where the investor is investor doesn't know where the entrepreneur is and entrepreneur doesn't know often where the innovator is conducting multi loci on farm trials of grassroots technologies and also augment biodiversity through nutrition gardens in schools building capacity of different actors and stakeholders in the innovation ecosystem at both national and international level its program gyan nidhi focuses on innovative projects of polytechnic students and as well as iti students last year gyan has helped undp india to make a database of brazilian technologies for and from grassroots which is available in grid .undp.org.in It also co-hosts a database of 0.9 million abandoned US patents to encourage distributed entrepreneurial opportunities. During this process of converting innovation into enterprise we faced many challenges and one of the challenge was that women whose knowledge often was not tapped as much as the men's knowledge was tapped remained a very small part of the ecosystem so how do we challenge that how do we overcome that problem and one of the experiment that we did was to take the help of self help group members and this experiment was done in kerala where we would try to document the knowledge of the women when they meet in their monthly meetings uh, about various problems that they would solve whether for child care for processing food for storing grains or for various other activities and then see whether some of this knowledge will lend itself to convert into enterprise gyan has now been also operating a macro venture innovation fund in collaboration with sidbi small scale industries development bank of india to provide risk capital under single signature no obligant no gap guarantee something which is fundamental in the macro finance the transition is from micro finance to micro venture finance if risk capital is so critical for biotechnology for information technology wouldn't it be equally critical for small grassroots innovators so this is the concept that we pioneered that under micro venture innovation fund the resources will be given to the innovator who has shared all his or her knowledge with us they trusted us we should trust them and in this process we have created this new framework of micro venture innovation fund if you make money give it back if you fail we have also failed as a supporting organization because we couldn't carry forward your innovation to the market as well as we should have gyan does not focus only on economic enterprises it also focuses on social enterprises on ecological enterprises on educational enterprises and we try to promote innovations in various sectors it is important also to understand that not all entrepreneurs would be able to recover the entire cost of the product or service that they provide from the users there are many disadvantaged people in the our society who may not be able to pay the full cost of full service it is here that the role of state becomes very important to underwrite this cost so that disadvantaged people are not disenfranchised 
from the ecosystem for availing the innovative products and services. Jan, in that sense, is a pioneer in terms of uh, bringing the three actors together, but also influencing the public policy. It has a very strong cooperation with UNDP India and UNDP Global, and has continued to provide support, has organized uh, online courses, particularly MIST, Management of Inclusive Innovation for Social Transformation, which has now reached about 90 innovation, UNDP Innovation Acceleration Labs in 109 countries. Gyan, in that sense, really tries to link grassroots with global. We try to create global market for grassroots innovations. During this partnership, we wish to support over 150 innovations for and from grassroots. These innovations can be deployed in Andhra Pradesh at individual or community level. We also want to promote outstanding DIY technologies as well as social innovations. Capacity building will be required at different levels to make a healthy ecosystem. Database can make low-cost technologies available to the people to facilitate knowledge transfer amongst people at the grassroots. About 150 innovative projects uh, will be selected from 450 innovations uh, scouted from the state or innovations which are from the other states but they are very useful for uh, Andhra Pradesh and that can be licensed out in the state then of course we will try them as well will not only be commercial but social as well. The project will give us an opportunity to work on horizontal marketing where SSGs will buy each other's products. Our experience have shown that they seldom market each other's product or buy each other's product. We will partner with different institutions and laboratories to give a holistic support to the innovators and entrepreneurs. Scouting is done, the selected technologies will be taken up for validation as well as value addition. Uh, the idea is to take them to the market and test them out. Lessons will be pooled and shared with different stakeholders, including the communities with whom we shall work.